Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have another interesting video. Uh, today we'll talk about ABAP dumps. So I guess everyone faces dumps during development, support, rollout, all the sessions, every time. A lot of time we see dumps. And we open SG22 and see the dump. Double click on it and see the details, whatever is written on it. A lot of information is there. Where the dump happened, how it happened, what's the code, what was the variables, what was the call stack, what was the system variables, and uh, what how to fix this, uh, what exactly happened, and this all information is there in the dump. So today uh, we'll talk about the big dumps, usual dumps we face in our day-to-day -day development life either in your development or your support life cycle of uh, ABAP. So without any delay, let's jump in. Uh, the different taste and smells of ABAP dumps will go to the first one. The dump is raise exception. So this is technically the code raising an exception, which is ideally not caught. So if you read the description, it says uh, function module raise an exception that was not intercepted by the program higher up in the stack. That means it's not handled until the end of the stack. So if it happens in the customer program, the developer needs to take it, take care of it. If it's the standard, there must be uh, something wrong, some unexpected situation. This you need to look at the message ID and message number, and maybe search the SAP support with the message number and message ID and get the solution it could be a note it could be some changes it could be some settings anything so this is the first one let's go to second one this is a less showing one but a critical one rfc attach gui failed the so this happens when the rfc tries to call a screen element or try to handle some screen operation so when it tries it fails so it's also possible that there is something with the uh, login pad or the GUI. Maybe something in the uh, internal layer of login pad is not able to connect with the GUI interfaces or the screen interfaces, GUI interfaces. That's the reason. Load program lost. This happens for the intermediate reports, which is generated. In many places we see generated reports, like as an example, uh, Query, query is a good example of generated reports. So when you call it technically with the name and it's regenerated, the old one is lost. When you call the old one, this situation can happen, the load program lost. So it says the program you're running was changed while you're running it. In a different environment, this happens if you're in sections of the system that generates code. So this is ideal that you rerun the transaction many times with a specific interval. You don't need to do it again and again, but you should in a specific interval run the transaction again and do the testing. This is a database error, DBIF, RSQL, SQL error. So there is something wrong with the database. You can go to SM SM21 and see what exactly happens. If it's a standard one, you have to get a note or ask your database administrator to check what exactly went wrong for this exact case so uh, maybe some some odd query going out and hitting the database that you need to fix it so message type x is the one where the program doesn't know what to do so this point there will be some instruction on how to fix this Ideally, you have raised some exception or you have done something that causes an exception for sure. This is the scenario. You cannot do anything. You have to handle the exception in custom code. In standard, you have to check the notes of the, all the way. Uh, let's go to the next one, uncaught exception. Uncaught exception is the object-oriented way of raise exception. So there was a classic class-based exception that was triggered. It may be a method, maybe FM, maybe form. That's not caught at the end. Usually, a lot of people does it by doing catch cx underscore root. As cx underscore root is the uh, uh, parent of all the exception classes. 
and then they handle it but that's not the ideal as you need to specifically handle the exception and do accordingly now you can do the parent one but that just handles the exception but doesn't do the purpose for the separate each and every exception has and we go to the last populated one last popular one that is the compute zero and zero divide so this is the usual one we see in our logic operation sometimes some value is not there and it's divided by zero then it comes on the on the dumb screen int zero divide and the zero divide is some dead end for this you have to check the value variable is not zero then only you can divide by zero i mean you should check whatever you're dividing by it should not be zero then only the divide should happen yes so this was for today uh, uh, we'll get you another video very soon if you like the video uh, please subscribe our channel and maybe share with your developer friends or functional consultant friends that will be helpful for them for this information and if you like the content please do like to keep uh, youtube happy Thank you. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.